We made this video to share with you the amazing feeding biology of the emerald ash borer larva seen here under the bark of an ash tree. The ash bark has been stripped away and if you look at this diagram, which you can go back and stop and see the parts later, but if you look at this diagram you'll see that under the bark is a layer of of woody phloem tissue and the emerald ash borers feed on that woody phloem and they leave a trail of frass. We will account in this video for the feeding and the de deposition or depositing of the frass. This brief diagram here shows the orts or the morsels of food that the insect bites off and places above its feeding site which you see here as morsels or fragments. And you can see how the mouth parts are working. In fact, you can see the insides of the insect through the remarkably transparent cuticle. But here you can see the mandibles and the labrum or upper lip biting, chewing, kneading the morsels of food, pumping oral secretions into the food. These are the mouth parts that you can go back later and study for detail, but close-ups of the mouth parts in action are showing that the insect uses a liquid from its oral secretions, from its digestive system, and it pre-digests the food, which is what we mean by extra oral digestion. They also feed on the particles that have been pre-digested and they pass them through the digestive tract. You can see some of that as you look at the esophagus and other parts of the digestive system. So they're putting that woody material through their system. They're taking the pre-digested uh, materials and they're producing fecal material through this remarkable posterior structure called the paired urogomphy. And here you can see the hindgut and the urogomphy in action producing fecal material, otherwise known as frass. They use those pointed, very sharp urogomphy to push the frass material into the uh, woody background. This film was made by Alan Carson Cohen and Katie Youngs, and with all of those people from the USDA APHIS 